Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day as usual. In today's video, I come with another comparison video for you. I told you in my last video I was going to be doing this, and this was actually highly requested because these two items are extremely similar. So if you're on the fence, I thought this comparison video might give you guys a little bit of insight so it can help you better decide which wallet is better for you. And the two items I'm talking about are the Victorine wallet by Louis Vuitton as well as the Zoe wallet. So as you can see, these wallets are extremely similar with the Zoe wallet being a little, little smaller. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to completely break it down for you. I'm going to tell you what fits in the wallet. I'm going to tell you the dimensions. I'm going to show you all the different compartments, everything that the wallets have to offer to you guys. I'm going to tell you the pros. I'm going to tell you the cons. And at the end, I'm going to tell you which one I recommend to you. But obviously, this is up to personal preference depending on how many cards you carry, how many coins you carry, and vice versa. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see me compare the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet to the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, then keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about the Victorine wallet. So to do that, we are going to go a little closer. Okay, guys, I first want to show you the Louis Vuitton. This right here is the Victorine wallet with the rose ballerine interior. So you can see it has a monogram coated canvas and it has a grained cowhide leather trim. So when you open it here, you can see it is the beautiful rose ballerine. It has the hat stamp of Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. This is a green cowhide leather lining and it has a gold color hardware as you can see here. On the zipper it has this cowhide. So it has a zipped coin purse. In here it has a pocket for bills and it's a pretty sizable pocket. And then on the inside, um, you're going to get a total of six credit card slots. You have three on this side, three on this side, and then you can put a card in here and then a card over there as well. So that's what it looks like. You close it and then it has this press closure. So that is an overview of what this one looks like. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit about the Zoe wallet. So let's move a little closer for that one as well. Okay, now I want to show you the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. You can see I have this one here in the Damier et Ben, and then I have Rose Ballerine, but it also comes in a really beautiful red, but I opted for the Rose Ballerine because I thought it was so pretty. Um, once again, it is a coated canvas. Um, the nifty thing about this wallet, unlike the Victorine, is it has this little slot right here in the event you want to keep cards, which is really nice. Um, right here, it has this little gold Louis Vuitton. It's a gold colored hardware and it's a press stud closure. Um, you open it up and this one, unlike the other one, you can have two credit card slots on this side and two on this side. And then there is a pocket for your bills. There's also a hat stamp here. You can see Louis Vuitton Paris, and this particular one is made in France. So you close it, and you get a quick little overview of what this little guy looks like. All right, now that I showed you a little bit of up close and personal of the wallets, let's go over the dimensions. So let's start with the Louis Vuitton. This right here is the Victorine wallet. The length is 4.7 inches. The height is 3.7 inches. And the width right here is about one inch. So that is the Victorine wallet. Those are the dimensions. Now let me tell you the dimensions of the Zoe wallet. Here is the Zoe wallet right here. The length is 3.7. The height is about three inches and the width is 1.2 inches. So the width is going to be just a little bit bigger than the Victorine wallet. And that is the only thing that's a little bit bigger than the Victorine. The Victorine kind of has, as far as size is concerned, obviously the Victorine is a little larger. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do for you, just like I do in all of my other videos on my handbag and comparisons, everything else, I broke it up into categories, and for each category, I'm going to select a winner. So the first category that we're going to talk about are the styles and colors. When you're going to choose a wallet, you want to know that there are like a lot of styles to choose from, so that way there is a variety. So first, let's discuss the Victorine wallet. So this Victorine wallet comes in a lot of different styles. It comes in the monogram, the epi leather, the Empron, the monogram vernis, the damier Ben, and it also comes in the azure canvas. So as you can tell, there's quite a variety. This one right here is the monogram with the rose ballerine interior. Then we have the Zoe wallet. Now this one is a little different. Right now when I looked on the website, it only comes in the canvas, the Empreinte leather, and then it also comes in the unique Python. So you don't really have as many style options to choose from. So for going by variety, um, you definitely have the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Not everyone wants the typical monogram. So it does give you more of a variety to choose from. So this, for this particular category, it's gonna go to the Victorine wallet as far as variety and style choices are concerned. Now I want to discuss price because this is what's on everyone's mind. What is the price of these wallets? Okay, so obviously the price is going to depend whether or not you pick the canvas or the Empreinte leather. So for today's video, I have the canvas in both, so we're going to discuss the price of the canvas because the Empreinte leather is going to be more expensive, so keep that in mind. So for the Victorine wallet, you're, the price you're going to pay for the canvas right now is $500 fifty dollars and then for the Zoe wallet in the canvas you're gonna pay four hundred and eighty five dollars so there is a sixty five dollar price difference which actually isn't huge it's all relative so for this particular category the winner of the price is going to go to the Zoe wallet again sixty five dollar price difference this one comes in at four hundred and eighty five dollars Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you a little up close and personal and we are going to go and we are gonna see what fits in the wallet. I basically have credit cards, I have some cash, I have some coin, and I'm gonna show you what fits in each one. Okay, now I wanna show you guys what fits in the wallet. So let's open up, this is the Victorine. So we open up the snap closure. And you can see here you have the six credit card slots. So I just have one credit card in each one. I'm actually using gift cards for the purpose of this video. You can also fit a card comfortably behind here and behind here. So I would say total you can fit about eight credit cards comfortably. Now let me just show you. If you were to take a card, you could, if you wanted, double them up but the problem is as you get closer to the front it's going to get harder to put them in but technically you could fit two in each so you could fit six here and then six here so that would be 12 and then you could fit um, one behind here and then another behind there and again you can load it up but the more you load it up the more the harder it's going to be for the cards to come out of this because it is the canvas then I also have in here, I have some bills and you can see the really nice thing about this wallet is the billfold comes open really, really wide. So you can also keep receipts in here as well. I just have a little bit of cash. I think I have like $8, so it's not too much. <laughs> then you close it and you can see how bulky it can kind of be, but if you open it up, I also have change in this compartment and there's quite a bit of change. It's probably half full, but like I said, the more change you put in it, the bulkier the wallet gets. And you can see with all that in there, how bulky it gets from the side. So now let's see what we can fit in the Zoe wallet. Okay, so here are all the items that I had in the Victorine wallet. Now let's see if I can fit all of these in the Zoe wallet. So here is the Zoe wallet. I'm going to open it up. You can see the change purse. Open it up. And you can see there's not a ton of space. So, but we're going to try to put all of these coins in this wallet. Okay, so I put all those coins in there. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the card. So remember, I had six in there. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put one behind here. Now keep in mind, when you put it back here, you're not gonna be able to see the card. 
um, let's see if we can double up. I can double up, but you see when I do that, it kind of makes an indentation here. So I would not recommend putting a lot of cards in here. Okay, I'm gonna put one here. And then I'm gonna put one there. And then I have another one, but it might be a little tight. So let me shut it and I can put it right here. Okay, I can put it right there. And that's what I'd probably put use for your ID. And then I also wanna show you that I have this um, same amount of cash that I'm gonna put in the billfold there. There's not quite as much space on this billfold as there is on the Victorine. So let's close it. And I fit the same amount of items that I put in the Victorine. However, you can definitely fit more in the Victorine because you can double up on the cards. Whereas this one, I find it's a little more difficult to include the cards. So this wallet would be good if you don't have a lot of cards. Like maybe if you just have one or two store cards and then your major credit card. And then the thing I do like is that you can put your license or a really important card back here. So let's just do one more side by side so you can kind of see these two wallets. So that is what can fit in both of the wallets. Okay, so as you can see for that category of what fits more, we are going to have to go with the Victorine wallet. Obviously, it is a larger wallet, so you could kind of assume that it fit more, but you can see with the cards, you can double up the cards, whereas, and it has more card slots. So if you're the type of person that doesn't really carry that many cards, you're definitely going to want to go towards the Zoe wallet. If you're someone who carries a lot of cards, you're definitely someone that's want to go going to go for the Victorine because you can double up on the cards so you can fit quite quite a bit of cards. Okay, now I wanna to touch on um, the durability and the signs of wear and tear. So I do have to be honest, this Victorine wallet, I have had a lot longer than the Zoe wallet. So I don't know if it would be a fair comparison as far as the durability and signs of wear and tear is concerned. So I'm not going to rank this category, but I am gonna tell you a little bit about the wear and tear so far. So on the Victorine wallet, one thing I have noticed is this leather button right here. It is starting to peel off a little bit, which is very, very upsetting. So if you were to get a wallet, I would recommend getting one that does not have the leather button because I have heard a lot of complaints about that. Other than that, the Victorine wallet has stayed pretty nice. You can see the interior with the rose ballerine. I was worried that there would be some markings, but so far, so good. There is a little bit, I don't know if you can see right here there is a little bit of a mark right there nothing too bad um, if we talk about the edges right here I can see a little bit of the seam coming out and there is just a little bit of glazing but overall considering how long I've had this wallet it looks pretty good and the only other thing is it's going to be hard to pick up on camera but you can see this leather trim right here there's a little bit of discoloration on it but for the most part this wallet has held up pretty well the only thing that really really bothers me is this little button right here so now let's talk about the Zoe. Again, I haven't had this as long, so it's still in really, really nice condition. The only thing so far, the little Louis Vuitton button, this one is the gold button. There are tiny bits, little scratches, not too bad. And you do have to be careful, I'm not gonna lie. With the Rose Ballerine, this is very light, so um, it is going to get dirty, but when I was talking to the Louis Vuitton sales associate, she was saying that you can use some um, Dove soap on it, and that would help to get it off. But other than that, everything looks great. So, like I said, as far as this particular category, I can't really pick a winner because I haven't had this one quite as long as this one, so it wouldn't really be a fair comparison. But for the most part, they're holding up pretty well other than the buttons. Okay, now this next category is special features. So everybody loves a special feature. You want something unique that stands out about the wallets. And you might see initially both of these wallets are pretty similar. They have billfolds, they have spots for coins, they have spots for your cards, but is there anything special that stands out? Well, 
The Victorine wallet obviously can hold a lot, but is that really something unique with wallets? Eh, I don't know, but with this little guy, the Zoe wallet, there is one thing that's unique, and it is this back pocket. I find this back pocket so convenient for you to put a card in there that you want access to quite a bit, whether it be your license or whether it's your most used credit card. I just love this and I find this so handy. So I wanted to mention that to you guys. If we're discussing about like something special and unique about the wallet, I love this. I love it so much. I'm telling you, it is such a game changer. So for special features, the winner is going to have to go to the Zoe wallet because that is something above and beyond unique that I really, really love about it. Okay, the next category I want to talk about is compactness. So obviously both of these are small leather goods. They are small wallets. So it's important for it to be able to fit in all of your handbags, to be small but still functional. So let's start with the Victorine wallet. This is the cutest little wallet and it is great because it fits a lot but I will be honest it can be a bit bulky at times you probably saw when I did the close-up with the coin it can just tend to stretch and look really really bulky but it does still fit a lot it does fit your bills it fits your coins it fits your card so if you're okay with the bulkiness of it you're gonna really really like this wallet now let's talk about this one I think as far as compactness is concerned this wallet is so incredibly adorable not only does it fit your credit cards not only does it have this special spot it fits coin and it fits your bills but it fits in every single purse that's what I loved it's so cute and compact I don't have to worry about even with my smallest crossbody this not fitting in so I have to say as far as compactness is concerned both of these pack a punch but this one can be a little uh, a little bulkier and even though this one is smaller so you would assume this would be the winner it does have everything that this one has as well other than a little bit of space but for this particular category it's gonna go to the Zoe wallet Okay, so those are all the categories, but before I tally it up and tell you which wallet won, I do want to tell you a small con of both of these and my recommendation if you were to get either one of these wallets. So as you could tell by the up close from these wallets when I was inserting the credit cards, when you do go for the canvas material, the credit cards are really, really hard to get in and out. So one recommendation I would make to you guys, even though it is a little more expensive, um, anyone I've known or any videos I've watched where someone invests in the Empront leather, they say that the credit cards are a lot easier to get in and out of because the leather is more pliable and over time it's going to stretch. With the canvas, it doesn't really stretch as much. Now, I will be honest, I have noticed that with the Victorine wallet, it stretches a little bit so they're not quite as hard to get in and out as the Zoe wallet, which is a little newer. But if you are going to go for, for one of these and you are someone who uses a lot of credit cards, you might want to invest in the Empront leather, like I said, because it is a little more pliable. Just a little tip that I wanted to mention to you guys, but that is kind of a major con of both of these, I think, are, are being able to get the credit cards in and out because of the canvas. It can be a little stiff. Okay, guys, so now it is the moment of truth. Which wallet do I like better, the Victorine or the Zoe wallet? So we have a tally, and we have the Victorine wallet with two and the Zoe wallet with three. So this little guy won just by the skin of its teeth. It won. Again, this is definitely up to personal preference, but if I had to go by the categories that I spoke about today, the Zoe wallet is going to have to come out the winner. Not only is this the cutest little wallet that you ever did see but I just want to go over really quickly some more of the positives it's such a compact wallet but it still has your billfold and a lot of times with wallets that are this small you're not going to have that and you're not going to have a place for coin you're not going to have a place for card and again I think what sold me on this wallet and just what kind of makes it stand out to me over this one is this little spot for your card right here I just find this to be so convenient as I stated before for your license or a major credit card but again you guys just like with handbags or anything else this is up to personal preference for example if you're someone who carries a lot of credit cards you're probably going to want to go with the victorine wallet 
because as you saw you can double up the cards whereas here not as much this is going to be a wallet where you're probably only going to have your major credit card your license you're not really going to be able to carry a lot so it's completely up to you guys but if i had to choose just for compactness for cuteness for a cute little added bonus of this little card holder my choice is going to have to go with this zoe wallet so let me know down below you guys if you're someone who owns both of these wallets which one do you prefer i of course love both of them but when doing the comparison this one won just by a little bit i would love to know your thoughts so if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and i'd love to have you follow me on instagram as well if there are any other comparison videos you want to see let me know i feel like these videos really really help me whenever i'm on the fence about what item to get because that way you can kind of look at the pros and cons and judge what are the most important things to you when purchasing an item like this so i hope you guys have a lovely day i will be sure to find these wallets and link them down below especially on the pre-love market just so you can save a little bit of money have a wonderful day you guys and i will see you in my next video i was looking like a fool when i met you all covered up in the dirt from my past so insecure by myself when i met you